Hey guys, welcome to Educating Shani. I am Shani and today I want to talk about something that's been on my mind for a while, which is that there are a lot of... Just spit when I talked. That was great. <laughs> there are a lot of things in this world that I just do not understand and I thought to myself, there have got to be people out there who agree with me or who at least know a little bit kind of what I'm talking about. So I decided to make this video talking about the things that I don't understand in the world in hopes that somebody will validate me that I am not the only one who thinks these things. So without further ado, let's get into my list of things I don't understand. Yay. Number one. Why is it so much more expensive to cut your hair if your hair is long? If you're a girl with long hair or a boy or whatever, then you know the struggle that when you go to the salon to get your hair done, they almost double the price for, for a haircut for long hair. And in my mind, I'm like, isn't it actually easier to cut long hair? Like you're just cutting off a couple of inches. Like short hairdos to me feel a little bit more complicated and you can't mess it up and you, you don't have much to work with. I would think that short ones would cost more or that they should just not cost as much in general, but they do. So that's what I don't understand. Number two. Why is our number one go-to breakfast drink orange juice when the first thing that we do in the morning is brush our teeth right before we eat breakfast? I've never understood this. They've tried making different toothpaste such as citruses or oranges or lemons or whatever to try and take away from like the shock of the orange juice on a mouth that's full of minty freshness. And so I've tried those before and they just, they suck. So here's what I propose. We start drinking chocolate milk in the morning instead of orange juice. <laughs> because mint tastes really good with chocolate. And also chocolate milk tastes better than orange juice. And it's better for you too. Number three, this, I am going, I'm very nervous about this one. I know that only half of the people out there are gonna agree with me on this and half of you are going to hate me, but I don't understand why or how people let their dogs lick their faces. Not just that, but why do they let their dogs lick their tongues? Why? I don't understand it. Like, I'm not a dog person, I'm a cat person, but even my cat, I would not let her lick anywhere near my face. Ugh. No, do you know where their tongues have been? Do you have any idea what kind of things dogs do during the day outside? Do you have any idea what is in there? What if they're carrying some sort of bird poop bacteria that gets you sick if you lick your lips after they lick your lips? Or if you let them lick your cheek and you don't you don't wash it, and or if they lick your mouth and kiss you, then you could get the bird poop residue in your tongue and you could die from the bird poo flu. I think it's gross and it smells bad, but don't hate me. Number four, I don't understand why Pringles chips have the flavoring on the wrong side. Now we all know that Pringles are delicious and also they formed this a certain way so that it will go right in your mouth, right? Well then why wouldn't they put the powder down here where the tongue is instead of on the roof of the mouth where you can't get to it. So if you want to taste the flavor, then you have to put it in like this. These are not good. Do you get my point? Put the powder on the right side so that I could have the crunch of the chip and the powder and the taste of the chip at the same time. Don't make me do more work and try and fit it in my mouth the other way. It's not supposed to go that way. Come on, Pringles. Number five. Now this, I have a feeling that I'm just extremely ignorant to the answer, so I'm sure a lot of you are just gonna explain it to me. But just in general, hear me out. This is just some good fun, okay? I don't understand why people freak out on TV or YouTube or whatever if people use products or use brand names or use music on YouTube or whatever. I don't understand why people get flagged for that because wouldn't you want, like, they want us to, like on YouTube, when I make my videos, a lot of my videos have been flagged in the past because I would use a copyrighted song and I didn't know that back then. Um, 
But my thing is like, why, why did they do that? Don't you think it would actually sell more records to have their song playing even more than usual? Again, I'm sure most of you are going to explain this to me in the comments, just be patient with me. But seriously, same thing with like on TV, why did they make you cover the brand name or change the brand name so it's not the brand name? Wouldn't they want it there as more advertisement for their product? So wouldn't YouTube, wouldn't people want their songs to be used on YouTube so that that's more advertisement for people to go buy their songs? I don't know, but it confuses me and it annoys me as a YouTuber. And I'm sure that it annoys all of the YouTubers and music writers and producers and TV show makers and all of the actors in the places of the times. And I know that I can't possibly be the only one, so tell me below if you agree. This one drives me insane. I hate it when I'm driving in my car and a commercial comes on the radio and in the commercial there is a horn honking honking there is a car horn honking in the commercial and it freaks me out same thing with like sirens if a song has like a siren in it it freaks me out like i'm supposed to pull over or who the hell is honking at me what is happening like i don't understand why who who decides at the radio station people to allow the commercials that have a honking horn in it um, because, hello, that's going to startle the drivers and cause more accidents and cause more furiosity. Furiousness. Furiosity-ness? Stop doing it! Number seven is one that every single YouTuber and actor, actress, and anybody who is in the spotlight can agree with and can understand where I'm coming from, which is... If you hate me that bad, why are you watching my channel? Now, a lot, of, you hear this all the time. People say that all the time. People say that in the comments all the time of videos. They'll be like, if you don't, because someone will complain about the YouTuber and then people will come to their defense. Why are you even watching if you hate them so bad? But do you really listen to what they're saying? Like really think about that. Why are you actually watching me if you hate me? Or why are you watching someone else or whoever you hate if you hate them? what is the point of that like that's kind of your fault like if you know that it's somebody that upsets you or that you hate or you despise or makes you feel icky or whatever then it's your job to stay away from it they're not forcing you to watch them so i'm just saying be patient i know 99.99999 percent people of you out there love me and i'm very very grateful for that but i guess i will just say that this goes for that 0.1 percent or for the other youtubers out there who get so much hate and so many mean things things said and so oh just horrible horrible bullying going on like just stop it like do you really have nothing better to do with your life like knock it off another thing I don't understand is that Humpty Dumpty is not an egg never in the poem does it say that Humpty Dumpty is an egg every time we see the character of Humpty Dumpty it is an egg with a crack in its head because it fell off the wall but nowhere in the poem did it say it was an egg. So which came first, the egg or the poem? Chicken. The last thing that I wanna talk about that I do not understand is why do they put Girl Scout cookie season two months before swimsuit season. What is the deal with that? If you're gonna sell me Girl Scout cookies, do it in the fall, in the Christmas time when I'm gonna gain weight anyway. I mean, not that we should care, but even like, even if it's for your health though, you know? We need to be healthy for the summer. The summer is full of physical activities. It's not just about looking good in a bathing suit. It's also about health. And I just don't, I never understood why it was put right before summer. I don't understand that. It shouldn't be a spring thing. It should be a, it should be a, other thing but don't stop selling them to me though because they're really delicious anyway if you like this video and you want to see me do more things that I don't understand please tell me in the comments because I have a whole list of more that I could do if you guys are interested in this and please tell me below if you relate to any of these please validate me and let me know that I'm not completely off my rocker all the time even though I am usually Thank you all for watching. I love you very much. And remember forever and always that you are beautiful. You are worth it. And I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye. Love you.